After studying this module, you shall be able to understand the determination of foreign exchange rate in spot market, know how prices and interest rates influence the exchange rate determination, know how incomes and expectations influence the exchange rate determination, and understand the Fisher effect and international Fisher effect. To begin with, the exchange rate between two currencies in a floating rate regime is determined by the interplay of demand and supply forces. The exchange rate between, say, the Indian rupee and the British pound depends upon the demand for British pound and its availability in the Indian foreign exchange market. Apart from this, there are certain fundamental macroeconomic factors influence the exchange rates. Factors like inflation rate and interest rate govern how the exchange rate between countries moves with each other. When the actual exchange rate deviates from the rate governed by these fundamental relationships known as parity conditions, arbitrage happens. Hence, this module focuses on understanding these parity conditions and when deviations from these parity conditions occur. Assume for simplicity that there are only two nations, the US and the UK, with dollars being the domestic currency and the pound sterling as the foreign currency. The exchange rate R between the dollar and the pound is equal to the number of dollars needed to purchase one pound. That is, R is equals to dollar divided by pound sterling. For example, if R is equals to dollar divided by pound sterling is equals to 4, this means that 4 dollars are required to purchase one pound. This figure shows the determination of the equilibrium exchange rate between US and UK under a framework of flexible exchange rate system. The equilibrium exchange rate is determined by the intersection of demand and supply curves for pounds at point E, that is, at R is equals to 4. At this point, the quantity pounds of demanded and the quantities of pounds supplied are equals to 80 million pounds per day. The US demand for pounds is negatively inclined, referring that the lower the exchange rate, the greater is the quantity of pounds demanded by the US. The reason is that the lower is the exchange rate, the cheaper it is for the US to import from and to invest in the UK and therefore the greater is the quantity of pounds demanded by US residents. On the other hand, US supply of pounds is usually positively inclined, indicating that the higher the exchange rate, the greater is the quantity of pounds supplied to the US. This is because that at a higher exchange rate, Britishians residents receive more US dollars for each of their pounds. With this effect, they, that is UK, find the US goods or investments cheaper and attractive. In the above diagram, points like A, B, P, Q and R referred the scenario of disequilibrium in the foreign exchange market. This is because there is no intersection between demand for and supply of currencies. Next, we will talk about know how prices and interest rates influence the exchange rate determination. Inflation rates and exchange rate determination. Interest rates and exchange rate determination. Inflation rates and exchange rate determination. It is normally the inflation rate differential between the two countries that influences the exchange rate between the two currencies. For explaining the impact of inflation on the equilibrium value of exchange rate of two different currencies, we take into account the
the case of two countries inflation position at a point of time the countries are united states and united kingdom here we take a case of rising us inflation on the equilibrium value of the british pound consider how the demand and supply schedules would be affected if us inflation suddenly increased substantially while british inflation remained the same for measuring the impact of inflation on the equilibrium value of exchange rate we are assuming that both british and us firms sell goods that can serve as substitutes for each other the sudden jump in us inflation should cause an increase in the us demand for british pounds in addition the jump in us inflation should reduce the british desire for us goods and therefore reduce the supply of pounds for sale these market reactions are explained in the above figure at the equilibrium exchange rate of 1.50 dollar there would be a shortage of pounds in the foreign exchange market the increased us demand for pounds and the reduced supply of pounds for sale place upward pressure on the value of the pound according to figure 2 the new equilibrium value is 1.57 dollars interest rates and exchange rate determination like inflation rate differential interest rates between two different countries also influences the equilibrium value of exchange rate changes in relative interest rate affect the investment in foreign securities which influences the demand and supply of currencies and therefore influences the exchange rates therefore for explaining the impact of interest rates on the equilibrium value of exchange rate of two different currencies we take into account the case of two countries interest rates position at a point of time here we take a case of rising us interest rate and its impact on the equilibrium value of the british pound assume that us interest rates rise while british interest rates remain constant in this case us investors will likely reduce their demand for pounds since the us rates are now more attractive relative to british rates and there is less desire for british bank deposits because us rates will now look more attractive to british investors with excess cash the supply of pounds for sale by british investors should increase as they establish more bank deposits in the united states due to an inward shift in the demand for pounds and an outward shift in the supply of pounds for sale the equilibrium exchange rate should decrease this is graphically represented in the above figure relative growth rates and exchange rate determination the role of central bank and exchange rate determination the role of government and exchange rate determination expectations and exchange rate determination if the growth rate of domestic income is higher than that of foreign income then imports grow faster than exports a rise in income levels will cause a rise in both imports and exports but in term of growth the growth rate of imports always high than that of exports so this consequently shifts both the curve to move upward but the demand for foreign exchange is bigger than the supply of foreign exchange this phenomenon is explained in the above figure by a bigger shift in the demand curve than in the supply curve impact of higher domestic growth rate via capital account growth of an economy may also affect capital flows high growth leads to profitability which may further provide buoyancy to the domestic financial markets which makes the domestic assets more attractive for foreign investors this entire process actually leads to net capital inflows therefore the supply of foreign exchange 
increases more than demand which is in net leads to a fall in the exchange rate the role of central bank and exchange rate determination the central bank can affect the exchange rate determination through two different routes one is through the intervention by the central bank and the other one is through the capital control the central bank can affect the exchange rate by responding to the market forces either by imposing capital controls or by intervening in the foreign exchange market by selling and buying currencies at the fixed rate the role of government and exchange rate determination the government can affect the exchange rate by changing in the macroeconomic policy basically changes in the three major macroeconomic variables such as inflation interest rates and growth apart from this the government can also affect the supply of and demand for foreign exchange by imposing trade barriers and taxes these two variables change the price of goods and expected return on financial assets such changes may lead to have a significant change to a determination of foreign exchange rate in an economy expectations and exchange rate determination in every market existence of expectations leads to originate the role of speculation speculators act on the basis of expectations about the future path and values of exchange rates if speculators expect that the domestic currency to appreciate they switch from the foreign currency assets to domestic currency assets this causes an increase in the demand for domestic currency and supply of foreign currency such changes lead to an appreciation of domestic currency speculators may also act on the expectation about the changes in all other variables such as inflation interest rates growth rates etc hence with expectation also exchange rate changes over a period of time normally such changes are attributable due to non fundamental forces fisher effect relationship between the nominal and the real exchange rate international fisher effect fisher effect relationship between the nominal and real exchange rate in an economy the relationship between the real interest rate nominal interest rate and inflation is known as fisher effect irwin fisher postulated that the nominal interest rate in an economy is equal to the real rate of return and inflation rate mathematically 1 plus i is equals to 1 plus r into 1 plus inflation rate where i is the nominal interest rate and r is the real interest rate the nominal interest rate is the interest rate we get when we approach bank for a fixed deposit if a bank informs us that nominal interest rate is 7.25% per annum that means that an investor would receive inr 1070.25 after 1 year on an investment of inr 1000 the real interest rate is the nominal rate after the effect of inflation is adjusted the real interest rate tells us how fast the purchasing power of your savings account will rise over time let us take some numerical example to understand this nominal interest rate is 12% that is a bank fixed deposit holder is earning 12% per annum as interest rate expected inflation rate during this period is 8% 1 plus 12% is equals to 1 plus r into 1 plus 8% solving for r the real rate is 3.70% many a times we come across and easy estimation of real interest rate that is real interest rate is the nominal interest rate 
minus the expected inflation rate. Nominal interest rate is equals to real interest rate plus inflation rate. So, when nominal interest rate is 12%, expected inflation rate during this period is 8%. The real interest rate is 4%. If the expected inflation rate increases to 13%, then real interest rate is minus 1%. Country specific Fisher effect is expressed as 1 plus I US is equals to 1 plus R US into 1 plus inflation rate of US. 1 plus I of India is equals to 1 plus R of India into 1 plus inflation rate of India. International Fisher's effect. International Fisher effect postulates that the estimated change in the current exchange rate between any two currencies is directly proportional to the difference between the two countries' nominal interest rates at a particular time. In other words, the percentage change in the spot exchange rate over time is governed by the difference between the nominal interest rate for the two currencies. Mathematically, international Fisher effect is expressed as spot today minus spot after a year divided by spot after a year, which is equals to I of USA minus I of India divided by 1 plus I of India. For example, if the nominal interest rate in India is 14% per annum and it is 10% in USA, then INR is expected to depreciate vis-a-vis -vis USD. This indicates that the left-hand side of equation 5 should also be equals to minus 3.51%. Hence, the percentage difference between the spot rate prevailing today and spot rate to prevail after a year should be equals to minus 3.51%. In nutshell, the international Fisher's effect relates the nominal interest rate between two countries and the movement of exchange rate between the currencies of the two countries. It indicates that the country with lower nominal interest rate will appreciate in the future as compared to the other relative currency. Let us now summarize what we have learned in this module. Exchange rate denotes the ratio between the values of two currencies. It is not an exaggeration to say that the exchange rate is the single most important macroeconomic variable in an open economy. This is so much the case in the present environment of financial deregulation and globalization of financial markets. The exchange rate between two currencies in a floating rate regime is determined by the interaction of demand and supply forces in the market. Certain fundamental macroeconomic factors influence the exchange rates between two countries. Both interest rate and inflation rate affect the exchange rate significantly. The central bank can affect the exchange rate determination through two different routes. One is through the intervention by the central bank and the other one is through the capital control. Role of government intervention also affect the exchange rate. Expectations about the macroeconomic variables also lead to a significant change to an exchange rate. In an economy, the relationship between the real interest rate, nominal interest rate and inflation is known as Fisher's effect. International Fisher's effect relates the nominal interest rate between two countries and the movement of exchange rate between the currencies of the two countries. It indicates that the country with lower nominal interest rate will appreciate in the future compared 
to other relative currencies.